Hello everybody, Naya Nana Des here. How's everybody on this fabulous Monday? I hope everybody's Mother's Day was just tickety-boo. And so are you. So let's get into what I want to talk about today. Some scandalous goings on, I'm just saying. Scandalous. So do you remember a few weeks ago, during one of the many Judiciary Committee hearings, because they're not accomplishing anything, they just want to waste goddamn time. Almost two years, hearings, hearings, hearings. Nothing's come up. They've never solved anything. But anyway, a couple weeks ago, Jim Bag Jordan was saying, during one of the hearings, uh, about all dozens of whistleblowers from the FBI were coming forward with valuable information about the Biden crime family. Don't think there was dozens, but apparently they testified before the Republicans on the committee. Just the Republicans. And apparently there was transcripts. When asked about when they were getting the transcripts, well, they're not ready yet. Well, you said they testified two days ago. Those guys do those transcripts up by end of work day. So, like, where are they? Couldn't provide them. So it didn't happen. In my estimation, it's all bullshit. Didn't happen. So anyway, it appears that there wasn't dozens and dozens, but maybe a dozen. Now... Out of those 12, 11 of the so-called whistleblowers that Jim Bagjockstrap, an insane comer, uh, said that they were going to come and testify about the Biden laptop and the Biden crime family, have all been disappeared. It's like magic. Poof. Guess they found out they can go to jail for all the shit they were going to spout, and they weren't willing to go under oath to do it. So it seems... To, they seem to be, as Comer was telling Maria Bartiromo, Miss Slomo herself, seems to be in trial or in jail. And the headline in the New York Post was, Joe Biden, FBI has a secret file alleging that Vice President Biden took money from foreign nationals. You know, they kind of dug into that a lot. You know who took money from foreign nationals? Ivanka and Jared Trump, Iganuk, the two Trump lumps, yeah, Trump himself, Christ, he still had a Chinese bank account up until 2018, they jumped on his ass and made him close it, but I think that's under one of the kids' names now, I'm just saying. So anyway, now apparently the informers are all involved in the spy world. If they're the spies, boy, all I can say is God help America. Because as soon as they found out they had to be under oath, I think they up and disappeared themselves. That's what I'm thinking. So um, they're missing or in jail or in court. Because, of course, the Biden DOJ and FBI have intimidated them and kind of scared them off. The, and the would-be spies, if they're real spies. Can you imagine? I think if they were spies, they'd know how to outflank government people, right? Apparently not. So anyway, the sheer incompetence of these Republicans baffles my brain every day. They're a bunch of useless Congress tools, that's all. They're not doing any good with their powers. They're not. They're using their powers for evil and sheer stupidity, like most of the people that are sitting there. Just saying. Now, he's, Comer says 7 in 10 Americans want to know about the Biden influence peddling. Um, maybe 1 in 10 is remotely kind of, hmm, inquiring minds want to know kind of people. But the rest of it's all bullshit, and most people with a critical thinking mind know the difference. Just saying. He says, we have people that want to come forward, but they fear for their lives. Who the Christ is threatening people? You know who got threatened? You know who got threatened? Those two uh, elections workers there. That's who got threatened, old Miss Ruby. Yeah, that's who got threatened with their lives, had to move death threats up the hoop because of Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, Julia, yeah, Drunken Judy, I said, Drunken Judy, <laughs> Rudy Judy, good name. Okay, but anyway, um, now, not only is the White House and the White House lawyers, but apparently it's the press that are intimidating. That's right, and they're scaring them. It's the media who are intimidating them and discrediting them because they're finding out the truth, you assholes. This is just a bunch of fear-mongering and spreading a ton of horseshit so nobody will smell the truth. That's what that is. It's one of those, look over there! Yeah, that's what all this shit is. So, of course, it's the deep, uh, deep state bureaucracy 
that are standing in their way. It couldn't possibly be that the guys are lying and don't want to report to the DOJ. Couldn't possibly be that. Now, I'm sorry if 10 or 12, 10 or 11 people that were going to testify just all up and disappeared. You have more on your hands than just Hunter Biden's laptop and Biden's name. Just saying. The Trump's whole f life uh, has shoved the Trump name down everybody's throat. Dictators, authoritarians, trying to peddle their own inferior, in my opinion, run businesses in Russia, China, and India. Uh, Don Jr.'s housing for the poor people. Remember that? Tried to buy housing. Half the kits weren't there when they showed up and everything else, or they showed up without a roof and all the rest of the stuff. It was so bad, everybody started suing him. So daddy had to bail him out by the millions. Just saying. Now, Senator Grassley was the lead on the whistleblower tip. And he reviewed the documents from legally protected, highly credible whistleblowers that uh, would implicate Joe Biden in a pay-for-play scheme. Just like Trump did with Zelensky. But they're not on that wagon yet, are they? Not about to jump on either. Now, we will not string the people of the United States along with false information or witch hunts. Da, da, da. Be careful what you say because it's coming back to you threefold. And false promises of evidence that is beyond circumstantial evidence, as Adam Schiff and the Dems did for years. Um, Benghazi, two years and four months for a friggin' inquiry that brought up nothing and lasted longer than the probe into 911, Watergate, the JFK assassination, and Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. Now Republicans focus on a target, Hillary, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and use these useless hearings and expensive probes as political weapons. Kevin McCarthy actually said everyone thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? We put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers now? Final report, no new evidence of wrongdoing by Clinton. End of conversation. This is just another huge pissing contest that... Uh, Kevin McCarthy and his band of bullshit artists are on about up against the Democrats. Let's stick it to the Dems. Let, but they're making arseholes out of themselves. They really are. But seriously, ten, ten of the most notable, highly credible, indisputable evidence just up and disappears. And then there's the uh, the other report that came out. Mm, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, not in Anna loves you. That's the bullshit so far. I love you. Be safe. Be good to you so you can be good to somebody else. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like to be family and friends, give it a share. And please, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Naughty Nana loves you. Be good to you.